This short video will serve as an introduction to standard pressure. Um, we'll also look at some of the units used to measure pressure. You've probably seen something like this before. You can see that this measures pressure in PSI, that's pounds per square inch. Like if you're inflating a bike tire or a car tire, you might inflate it to 30 or 50 pounds per square inch. Now standard pressure is defined as one atmosphere of pressure. Um, atmosphere is just a unit for pressure, and that's about how much pressure there is on an average day around sea level. So right now you're under about one atmosphere of pressure, give or take, depending on the day. Now just like there's different ways to measure distance, for example, you could measure distance in miles, you could measure distance in kilometers, there's also different units to measure pressure. You should probably be familiar with all of these because they're all pretty common. A one atmosphere is equal to 760 millimeters of mercury. Also, sometimes it's called tor, 760 tor, which is equal to 14.7 psi, which is equal to 101.3 kPa. This is kilopascals, so a thousand pascals. So we'll be using all of these units, but keep in mind that each one of these is equal to each other. So one atmosphere is equal to 14.7 psi. 760 millimeters of mercury, well, that's equal to 101.3 kilopascals. These are all the same, same amount of pressure, just measured in different units. You remember STP, standard temperature and pressure? Well, you just learned what standard pressure was. It's one atmosphere. And you probably recall from before that standard temperature is zero degrees C. However, we're not going to be using Celsius this unit. Everything has to be converted to Kelvin. And once again, this is the formula for that. So, what is standard pressure, sorry, what is standard temperature in Kelvin? Well, zero degrees Celsius plus 273. So, standard temperature in Kelvin is 273K. So, these will be some numbers to memorize. 